In this video, we will talk about the particular nature of matter. Matter can vary in sizes, colors, compositions, and states, but all of them possess mass and volume. Matter has a mass and volume because matter is composed of particles, and we will discuss in this video the properties of these particles. Matter is composed of very small particles known as atoms. In order to help you visualize how small these particles are, let's take a look at this example. Get a strand of hair and observe the thickness of this strand of hair. Even though the thickness of a strand of hair is very small, it can actually fit 700 thousands of atoms within its thickness. Atoms are too small that that large number, 700 thousand pieces of atoms can fit in just a thickness of a strand of hair. Let's talk about the composition of an atom. The picture below is not the actual appearance of an atom, but rather one of the representation of how an atom might look like. In this representation, let's place a circumferential line to denote the size of an atom. Removing the orbits will have this image. We only have in this image the particles that comprises an atom. And these particles only occupy a small area. Hence, if this is the size of an atom, most of it are just empty space. Atoms are composed of other smaller particles. We have negative particles, positive particles, and neutral particles. The positive and neutral particles can be found at the central part of an atom known as the nucleus. And the nucleus is surrounded by the negative particles. What will happen if we have two atoms that are near to each other? When two atoms are near to each other, the positive particles in their respective nucleus are attracted to the negative particles of the opposing atoms. Since positive particles carry positive charges and negative particles carry negative charges, this causes the two atoms to get closer to one another producing an attractive force. The attraction force is created by the attraction between the negative particles and the positive particles between the two atoms. On the other hand, when the atoms get too close to one another, you will notice that the surrounding negative particles between the two atoms are also very close to one another. Since the negative particles are too close to one another, this causes the atoms to repel to one another. The force of repulsion exists when the negative particles of the two atoms are too close to one another. As long as the two atoms possess negative and positive particles, the force of attraction and repulsion will always exist, causing the two atoms to continuously attract and repel to one another. The continuous attraction and repulsion between the atoms causes the atoms to have a constant motion. Take a look at the three images in front of you. The particles of solid, liquid, and gases are all moving in constant motion. They don't stop. Since the particles are in constant motion, we can say that atoms possess kinetic energy. To recap, let's take a look at the four ideas that tells us about the particulate nature of matter. Number one, matter is composed of very small particles known as the atoms. Even though atoms are composed of smaller particles, most of the atom is an empty space. The particles within the atom, which are the positive and the negative particles, causes the atoms to exert forces of attraction and repulsion. And since there is a continuous forces of attraction and repulsion between atoms, atoms are said to have a constant random motion. The motion of atoms 
can be affected by different factors. In the next video, you will see how heat and the change in temperature can affect the motion of atoms.